Hello and welcome, I'm Matt Welk, a Senior Solutions Architect. And in this NerdBytes episode, we're going to look at Next.js framework and how to integrate it with New Relic so we could apply full stack observability to your application and be able to see all the metrics on a single pane of glass in the New Relic UI. Next.js is a modern framework and it has gained in popularity over the last couple of years thanks to its flexibility and ease of use. It uses Node and React, and thanks to this stack, you can apply different rendering methods like hybrid, static, or server-side rendering. Thanks to New Relic, we can gain insights into your application metrics on both the backend and the frontend side of your application in a few simple steps. Let's start with the server-side instrumentation. After we instrument New Relic on the server side, we'll be able to see our backend transaction times, update score, throughput, error rate, all the transactions, distributed tracing, and the transaction details. We could also see errors with their details, and even node performance. In order to instrument it, we're going to use the official New Relic Node Next.js instrumentation. It can be used with both standard Next.js application or a custom server application. In order to install New Relic and apply our observability to your application, we need to install the New Relic Node Agent NPM package, and which comes along with the agent, the New Relic Next.js middleware NPM package. You might want to install it separately because of its versioning and new features that might come with it. Once we install both of them, we need to run our app with minus R option, which preloads the New Relic Next module and runs your app. Don't forget to include the New Relic JS config file with your app name and the New Relic license key and the configuration options you desire. Once this is done and the app runs, we can go to the New Relic UI and see our application performance. On the browser side, we obviously want to also see real browser metrics. Here are a few examples of what we can see in the New Relic UI. In the summary page, we can see the initial page load times, throughput, or for example, input delays. We can also navigate to page views where we can see, for example, root changes by target URL. We can also go to JS errors and uh, click through to see the stack trace. And for example, we can also see AJAX requests that our application makes. The easiest and recommended way of injecting the New Relic browser agent is by using the custom Next.js document. The way you do it is by importing New Relic node agent and calling get browser timing header method. This creates the required script, which you pass to the head of the document as a parameter. This script is then executed and allows the data to flow and report to New Relic. As simple as that. Now, when we navigate via different pages of my project, let's go to the home page, an about page, and back to the home, and to the post page, and let's click through a few posts. And now, when we go to the New Relic UI, we can see all the metrics coming from my application. I hope you enjoyed this episode. You can find all the links in the description of the video. Thanks so much for watching.